controversial compensation. Many Suffolk residents cried foul after the city's budget proposal called for hefty pay raises for the city manager and several department heads. Well, all while teachers were losing their jobs. City Council met this afternoon to give those numbers a second look. Tonight's sides Ann McNamara spoke with the mayor today. And Ann, can these residents expect to see a different set of numbers at tonight's council meeting? They can. There are a couple things that came out of the work session, some ideas. The first one, to phase in these big salary bumps instead of doing them all at once, phase them in over a three-year period. Second, give an across-the-board 2% raise to all city workers and city employees. And third, to give $2 million additionally to the school budget. All of these things are what the public is going to hear tonight, and they are out in full force. I'm told people are already being directed to go downstairs because there's so many people in council chambers. They're going to watch it on TV down there. And there's a lot of big turnout because people have been frustrated. They've been angry. Frankly, up to this point, it's been difficult to get a straight answer from public officials. Suffolk City Manager Selena Cuffey Glenn spent most of the day behind closed doors, denying our request for an interview about her proposed 21% pay raise. This is as close as we could get to her, the door outside the hallway that leads to the lobby outside her office. I'm sorry the city manager's not available right now. Could I just get a shot of her office since it's a public office? No, ma'am, not at this time. Isn't this a public building? Cuffy Glenn is not the only one avoiding us. I called Vice Mayor Charles Brown this morning for comment. At first, Brown told me he could not meet with us because he had to go to the gym. Later in the conversation, he admitted that wasn't true. He said he lied because he does not want to go on camera, but added Cuffy Glenn deserves the raise. She is worth it. Now, that does not mean that we will do it, but yes, she is worth it. Then there's Mayor Linda Johnson. Johnson told me this morning she would call me on her way to City Hall. We did not hear back, but found a car in the mayor's parking spot. She finally agreed to meet with us before today's work session. We asked her to address the public backlash to the proposed budget. Emotions run high and passions are strong, and so we say things, but I think in our hearts that's not truly what we mean. And you don't I think, think they mean it? I think they mean it. Sometimes I, I wonder if you really stop to think. I, I would prefer to believe that people really do know what people are worth. Only one city councilor called me back. Councilman Mike Duman says the budget will not pass as is. He says the council hears the cries from Main Street. My salary has been cut 35, 40 percent. Who do I cry to? Who do I go to? You know, you understand what I'm saying? Where do I go? I don't know. Hey, I live with it. There are two questions here. One is what a fair is a fair figure. And secondly, is this an appropriate time for such a significant raise? Those are the questions, and of course, council has heard you. They've heard people speaking out. They heard the public input, as they call it, and they say they are going to make changes, although they're not set in stone just yet. And as one person told me today when I was out on the streets asking people, they said, pay attention, council. This is an election year. They want you to know that they're holding you accountable, and they are very serious about this public input and this backlash to this budget proposed as is. Of course, we'll see how the changes go. Live in Suffolk, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your and council is going to vote on this new proposal May 2nd.